Hi everybody. Okay, on December 24th of last year, the InSight lander recorded a 4.0 Mars quake. Initial estimates placed the epicenter in Amazonas Planitia. Okay, so after the seismic activity, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO team, they checked their data. And lucky for us, MRO takes full sweeps of the planet every day, monitoring weather patterns. So, between the December 24th sweep and the December 25th sweep, there was a brand new crater in Amazonas Planitia. Okay, so that means the 4.0 Mars quake turned out to be one of the largest documented impacts in, in our history of recording Mars. The story doesn't stop there though. The ETH Zurich team, who monitors the size instrument or the seismometer that went along with InSight, they had been waiting for a specific set of readings. They'd been waiting for surface waves. Now, most of the Mars quakes that InSight had recorded up to that point were smaller local quakes, and they produced S and P waves, but not surface waves. Now S and P waves are great for modeling the, and giving us insights into the internal structure of a planet. But surface waves, they do what they sound, they travel through the surface and they give us insight into the crust material. Okay, the Zurich team announced that the surface waves traveled significantly faster than expected. That indicates that Mars's surface is more volcanic and significantly more volcanic and probably more uniformly volcanic than previous models indicated. Okay, so InSight's power is continuing to dwindle. Teams here on Earth are preparing for its end of mission, but it's still giving us data. In May of this year, InSight recorded a 5.0 Mars quake, the biggest it's recorded so far, and that that Mars quake also produced surface waves. So we look forward to more information coming out of the Zurich team. We'll keep you posted when they release that data.